Namaste, it's Marcy Gevril, and I'm here to introduce you to how your watery body gets to be moved. Your lymphatic system, which I'm a specialist in, is the water in your body, and it's washing all your cells. And if you come to my YouTube channel or you come to my website, yogaoftouch.com, you'll be able to see more about my book and all the things I want to teach you about self-care. So welcome, welcome to a wonderful self-care session, how to help yourself feel better, faster, and stay stronger, longer. We have to start with the breath, of course. The breath is the origin of all life. And your watery body is moved. Moved by the breath at the diaphragm. Ho, oh, 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 ho, yes. Well, your watery body is also moved through muscle contraction muscle movement, right, and gravity, and, and I've spoken about that. I hope you're looking at some of my other self-care videos. This one is going to be focused on the breath because the breath is essential for moving the lymph. The lymph is your internal invisible shower. And so everybody right now, take a really deep breath in, and just blow it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now take a really kind of charging breath in, like all the way up from your feet, all the way up from your legs, all the way up from your chest, and kind of grab your fingers and send out the breath. Oh, yeah. So that's kind of a cleansing breath, yeah? Cleansing breath means you make a charge start to happen and then you release that charge so i'm going to take you through three of my favorite breaths today a charging breath a chillaxing breath and a balancing breath and they're all from yoga and some of you who've studied yoga before probably already know what these are the first one i want you to learn though is deep abdominal breathing and I teach that in a class that I've done called activate the vagus nerve the vagus nerve and check that out on my YouTube channel so deep abdominal breathing you should already have in your tool case if you don't make sure you do because we're gonna need that right now to do the first one which is fire breathing yeah kapala bhati Boom. The main mistake that people make with Kapalabhati is that they don't understand how the diaphragm is supposed to move when. So the interaction with the means that you're going to push the diaphragm, push the diaphragm, push the diaphragm with your exhale. So here's my diaphragm, and I'm going to take a breath in. And as I exhale, I want to feel like I'm just being punched in the diaphragm. <sighs> so I like using a vowel sound. Use a vowel sound to make sure that you go from the ha or the ho or the who, and that that little H ends up with a vowel at the end of it and that gives a little more energy to it. This is just to begin the practice. Ha! 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 And you might be going, ha! Like pushing it out a little. No. Only push the exhale and relax the inhale. Push the exhale and relax the inhale. Push the exhale and relax the inhale. So I'll do that from the front. I'm just gonna do nice and slow at the beginning. Ha, 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 ha. He, 
he, he, he, ho, 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 who, 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 who. So it doesn't matter which value you use. That's the beginner level. I'd like to progress a little bit, intermediate, and then you'll see me go all the way to what I've been practicing since I was 21. Yeah, I've been a yogi since I was 21. Can you believe it? And I don't want you to go to the advanced level unless you've already practiced fire breath for a while. So just stick with the beginner level and start with a little bit more intermediate. And it's out through the nose now. So we're going to just exhale through the nose as we push the diaphragm. Hmm. 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 And let go of the sound. So maybe you can go that fast and stay relaxed. Part of the reason I can stay relaxed in my diaphragm is I studied a long time ago these undulations, which have really softened up my diaphragm. So that'll be important for you in the future, I hope. And later on, I'll teach you Uddiyana Bandha, which is fantastic for your abs. Right now, I just want to focus on the next breath, which is the cooling breath. And the cooling breath is interesting because not everybody can do it. And it's rolling your tongue. You know, this one. So if your tongue doesn't roll like mine does, it's genetics, then the way we can still get a cooling breath is to put your finger in, sandwich it between the roof of your mouth and your tongue. Uh, and then, uh, Mm -hmm. kind of wrap your tongue around your finger. And because the cooling breath, after we've done Kapala body, the fire breath, ah, and that really built up some energy in case you ever get cold and you need that. Like sometimes I get a chill and I just do that. Um, now you want to do the cooling breath. So the cooling breath means that you're going to take an inhale and an exhale. And during the next inhale, you're going to use that little rounded tongue idea. So inhale, exhale. 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 Or if you have to, Exhale, and do that a few times. Oh, that starts to cool you down. That's great. So before I get to the last one, if you've been following some of my self-care sessions, you know that I like to not only give you the art of rejuvenation, which is the experience, but the science behind it. So, cleaning, cleaning your water of body is really simple. Get some of this saline solution from the contact lens department of your favorite drugstore. And we're going to use this in another session, which I call EMT, saltwater cleansing. This is how you can clean your nose. You squirt it in, and snort it out and squirt it in and snort it out. Instead of using a neti pot, I think it's much safer, much more hygienic, much more convenient, all that good stuff. I'll show you about it later. Not, um, and you could, you could also use a nasal spray like this. Um, and also you wanna uh, rinse and gargle your mouth. 
with either salt water or diluted hydrogen peroxide. And not only that, you want to scrape your tongue. Oh yeah, this is a real tongue scraper. Can you see that? And how you use it is, it goes on the tongue and, and you're gonna scrape from the back to the front several times, that's cleaning your tongue. So all of those things are called Kriya Yoga, cleansing yoga, and I've done them all, and I've done the salt water flush and the cleansing and everything, but the point of this, as I'm getting to, is the neti string. This is not actually a neti string but it will represent one, and I've done this myself. In Kriya Yoga, we learn how to put the neti string into the nostril and pull it down through the back of the throat and then bring it back and forth, right? So you're going to clean the nostril with the neti string like that. Wow. Um, it's pretty remarkable. It's very tickly, and I only recommend it if you're an advanced yogi, but in any case, what we're going to do now is called Nadi Sudhi, which is alternate nostril breathing. And all of these breaths will naturally clear your nasal passages and naturally open up all the mucus linings and help more waste elimination. So cheap, easy, convenient, and effective. So Nadi Sudhi, you want to imagine that there's a neti string of your breath. And it's going to go up one side and down the other. And up one side and down the other. And up one side and down the other. And in that way, it's going to clean out your nostrils one at a time. So we do that by taking an inhale through one nostril at a time. Close off one nostril and inhale through the first one. And then close that one off and exhale through the second one. Then you're going to inhale through the second one, close it off, and exhale through the first one. But so let's get started, grounded, because what I want to do again is take you through the beginning part of Nadi Sudhi. And beginners just stay with the ratio of three in and three out and count to three going in count to three going out. What I'm going to add is the advanced version, which is five going in, hold for five, five going out, five going in, hold for five, and five going out. And if you're very advanced, you actually, the ratio is ideally five going, inhale, hold for five, 10, and exhale for 15. I don't think I'm gonna get that far. But in any case, so what do we do with our hands to close off the nostrils? You can either put one finger up at a time like this, or in yoga, sometimes we'll do it like this, we'll put our hand up in this kind of hang 10 fight idea. So this finger goes up on your third eye, and your thumb is closing off this nostril, and your little finger is closing off that nostril. But so it looks a little bit like this. Well, that's hard for you to see me in the camera what I'm doing, so I'm going to just use one finger at a time, but you go ahead and use whichever one suits you. So again, I'm Marcy Gevriel. I come to you from yogaoftouch.com. Come visit my YouTube channel. Follow me on IGTV, and I'd love to hear from you and pass this forward to your friends and family because these are all simple self-care ideas that you can implement for yourself on a daily basis. So charging breath, Kapalabhati, cooling breath. I actually forgotten the name of it right now. And Nadi Sudhi, alternate nostril breathing. So let's do Nadi Sudhi, deep abdominal breath in. Exhale it out. Nostril count to three. In, two, three. Exhale, two, three. In, two, three. 
Exhale, two, three. Inhale. Exhale. Let's slow it down. Inhale. Exhale. No. See, next time you do it five on your first finger. Inhale for five. Gently exhale for five. Oh boy, that was pretty amazing for me. <laughs> I hope it is for you too. So please pass this forward to your friends and family members of really simple yoga techniques that you don't have to be a yogi to practice. You just have to be willing to use your own head, heart, and hands to heal yourself. I'm Marcy Javril signing off for now, and thank you for coming.